Welcome to another video by Chem for the Win One. Let's look at something that's pretty troubling to some people: the E button on your calculator. A lot of people like to use times ten caret. The E button makes your life easier. So if you use it, cool. If you don't, let's figure out how to use it. Now again, maybe you already use it. Maybe you know how to use it, and you just refuse to use it. Uh, it makes your life much e much easier if you know how to use the E button. Uh, on your TIs, your E button is located right there. So it's your second comma, all right? I know it says EE, -E, but don't hit it twice. Just hit it once. So on our mole unit, if we want to jot down the mole number of particles, 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, you do what you normally do, 6.02. But what a lot of, what, what a lot of people do is they write times 10, where is it, caret, 23. Alright, so you have to hit times, 1, 0, caret, 2, 3, enter, and note your answer is 6.02 E23. In answers, don't write E23, E means nothing to me. Alright, times 10 to the 23rd is where it's at. <clears throat> so the E button, we do the same thing, 6.02. It's much easier, instead of hitting all the other buttons, you just hit second and comma, and note the E appears. I know, again, it says double E, but only one shows up, which is fine. Don't, don't uh, input two of them. So if you hit enter, note the answer is the exact same. Nothing is different. You actually hit less buttons, and when you actually perform calculations, you're not going to be wrong. You don't need to use parentheses. So that's why the E button really is better. It's, it's better in every aspect. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, if I just try to perform a calculation, uh, like in this unit, we're doing, uh, you know, converting from particles uh, to moles. If you take, let's just make up a number, 9.2, uh, and if we do all our times 10. If you do 9.2 times 10, let's make it, uh, I don't know, 24. Now, if we want to convert, let's say, that many atoms of silver into moles of silver, you'd have to divide that by the mole number, which is 6.02. Uh, let's do the caret times 10 to the 23rd. And if we just write the numbers in like that, note that your answer is insane. Times 10 to the 47th. That is so wrong. That is wrong on all levels. All right, never write an answer that has times 10 to the 47th in this class. You're going to be wrong. <clears throat> and again, the only re your work is probably right, like if you write it down, but the only reason your answer is wrong it's because you didn't put parentheses around the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. If you use the E button, that doesn't happen. So if we just do the same numbers, so 9.2 E, let's make it 24 again. Let's just go divided by 6.02 E23. We don't get that problem. We get 15.28, or I guess if you use sig figs, 15. Uh, 15 moles of silver, if we're working with silver again, which is correct. So note, the first, all, all the numbers are the same, it's just you're off by so many zeros the first time. This one is your correct answer. And note, there's no parentheses. Look how much less work you have to actually do. Use the E button, all right? It is uh, just better in every aspect. There, is no, there are no pros about times 10 to the caret. There are none, especially when you have that E. Um, I'll make another one with uh, the other calculator, perhaps. Thanks for watching.